Welcome back to the complimentary. This is a segment where I talk about something that I think is really impressive and or cool in geekdom and kind of try to explain why that is. And today I'm talking about Starship Troopers, the original novel by Robert A. Heinlein. Um, and you'll notice I have this in hardback. That's an indication of how much reverence I have for this book. And the first thing is to recognize that the movie is not the book. The movie is a very, very weird sort of Hollywood interpretation of the book that takes some of its messages and really um, Hollywoodizes them, for lack of a better term. Um, the book is much more subtle, and the book is in many ways a lot more complex. Starship Troopers is set in a future where these uh, aliens are in a war with humanity, and human society has developed into this strongly militaristic structure. So, for example, um, you, you are not a full citizen of, of that nation, of that culture, unless you have served in the military. And it's a very patriotic, you know, very kind of you know, military-focused thing. Um, and what Heinlein does is he explores that. Starship Troopers satirizes it. And says this is this is obviously ridiculous. Um, Heinlein says, "Well, what would that what would that do? What is a functional society where that is true?" In other words, instead of making a joke out of it, he treats he treats, he, he, yeah, he treats the concept with respect. I get that spit out there. Um, it is also remarkable for the fact that the people fight in powered armor. This is arguably, I believe, the first case in science fiction of powered armor, i.e. in 1959, so when this was uh, first released, the 50s, where the characters have this essentially giant suit of armor, essentially a mechanized suit of armor that they climb into, um, think the suits in, um, in uh, the, the Avatar, James Cameron Avatar film, the, the, the mecha suits, uh, similar in, in terms of scale and size. And they fight in those, although, they're in the, although the ones in, in Starship Troopers are fully sealed environmental suits and massively weaponized. So it was arguably, you know, certainly a very early mecha and, and one of the uh, very influential mecha stories. But what I love about Starship Troopers is that it is a story of this young man making his way through the society, going out to fight the aliens, and being in this very tough situation, being in this... Um, rigorous society, um, and the the how that toughens you up, how that that makes you a um, a very tough person. So one of the things I like is 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 again a lot. It's easy to take th this story as simply pro military or anti military, and I don't think that is Heinlein's intention here. Um, it is an exploration of this, and you can take what you want from that. You see the effects and decide, is it worth it? Um, you know, in a sense, there, there's an element of, you know, perhaps this is how mankind survives by creating this kind of environment. You know, who knows? So it, it is the kind of, in, I say this because people watch the movie or see clips of the movie or whatever, and they hear about Starship Troopers as being this militarized society and they assume it is either essentially conservative or liberal and when I read the book it was very much neither. Heinlein also has this very, this I argue unique ability in writing. Heinlein's prose flows like water. You start, it is very difficult to analyze Heinlein's writing because as soon as you start reading it, you suddenly find you're 20 pages in. It just jumps out into your brain. It's amazing. Um, so that's one of the nice things is you can pick this up and just kind of read it. It will, it will flow very easily. And it's also a book where Heinlein, so Heinlein generally his stories um, moved relatively slowly uh, his stories tended to unfold uh, at this, I don't want to say, well, deliberate pace is not unreasonable, uh, whereas Starship Troopers moves much more quickly. It, it is not quite an action story, but it, there's definitely a lot of action in it. Uh, and so it's the kind of thing where there's a lot of things being thrown at you. And even when it's not action, because of the nature of the society and how people are, are 
are behaving, things happen that will kind of surprise you and kind of thrown out at you, which Heinlein doesn't just explain. You know, nobody says, as you know, Bob, you know, when you turn 18, X, Y, Z happened. No, it's just that these things happen and you're supposed to, to figure that out from context, what's going on. Um, I don't like to make favorites. I don't like to list favorites, but there are two books that are my two favorite books of all time. This is number two, to give you an idea. It, it is, stands head and shoulders above the other books I've read, uh, at least in terms of fiction. And yeah, that's a, I, I just gotta say, I was blown away by this book. Might not be for you, that's fine. Um, but it is definitely interesting and also interesting for its um, treatment of, of Mecca, essentially, and creation of Mecca, so to speak. Um, for you anime fans, there was an anime adaptation of Starship Troopers, made in the 80s, late 80s, I believe. Uh, it could be in the early 80s. Must have been the early 80s. Yeah, early 80s. And uh, uh, it's not... Uh, it has the, the powered armor, but the aliens are tentacle monsters. Instead of more like, you know, um, uh, more relatable aliens as they are in the book. And in the book, you don't really meet the aliens, as I recall. They're just kind of this, this force, but they're definitely not tentacle monsters. So they kind of got the aliens completely wrong uh, in, in the anime. But you do get to see some of the, the material. Uh, it's never been released over here in America, as far as I'm aware. There are fan subs. Uh, and it was also done by Sunrise. So, for example, um, well, most of the voice cast worked in Gundam at some point on the Japanese side. So that's fun. Anyway, that's Starship Troopers. I hope you find that helpful and useful. And, um, yeah, this book just impresses me all to death.